In this video, we present safe quad rotor navigation using composite control barrier functions. We consider a multi-rotor operating in a complex cluttered environment with multiple static obstacles of arbitrary size and shape. To avoid unnecessary conservatism, we choose to represent each obstacle as an accumulation of many small spherical obstacles. The proposed method formulates a single obstacle constraint using a composite control barrier function. This constraint is then employed in a quadratic program, forming a safety filter to correct potentially unsafe reference actions. This computationally cheap formalism accurately represents the nonlinear attitude dynamics of the third order system and is scalable to cluttered environments. We evaluate the resulting safety filter in two hardware experiments. In the first experiment, we test the safety filter with a naive nominal policy. A nominal reference velocity of 1 meter per second in the x direction is provided to a reference controller in an obstacle filled hallway. The composite control barrier function is constructed from a local voxel map representation of the environment. The current voxel map used is highlighted in color. The minimum values of the individual constraint functions and their higher order set functions are plotted on the right as nu0, nu1, and nu2, respectively, while the composite control barrier function value is plotted as h1. The resulting safe control law avoids obstacles, deflecting the quad rotor horizontally and vertically to satisfy the constraints in the safety filter. Finally, the safety filter brings the quad rotor to a full stop in front of a wall. In the second experiment, we evaluate the safety filter against an adversarial reference input in a forest environment. The nominal policy is a reference velocity, provided by a human operator, which tries to collide the robot with tree trunks, branches and bushes. The safety filter corrects the commands of a reference controller, altering the body rates and thrust rate to prevent collisions with obstacles. The present wind and modeling errors cause the value of the composite control barrier function to drop below the zero line. Regardless, all constraints are satisfied during the entire mission. This is indicated by the value of new zero on the right. In the final sequence of the video, the operator provides a downwards reference velocity trying to collide with the ground. The safety filter successfully counteracts this, keeping the robot in air. 